Hello, what's up guys? Uh, thank you very much for being an electrica. I really appreciate that. Okay, now let us look at this device here. This is called automatic phase selector. It's an APS in short term. Okay, now previously uh, we looked at, uh, oh, we did a video on automatic changeover switch or automatic transfer switch. Okay, we explained a few steps there. So if you didn't watch that video, I'll leave the link in the description for you to go and watch that video. Then you can come to this. Okay. Okay. Now, what is APS? Now, this phase selector, it's a device which, you know, uh, selects uh, phases depending on the availability and healthness. Okay. To supply the load. All right. Now, the system has got three contactors uh, and each phase has got a contactor. So we have a contactor for red, for yellow and for blue. Okay. And then you have breakers, uh, power breakers, which, you know, supply the board. And then we have an output breaker here. This is our control circuit. Okay. Now, let us look at... Uh, where this kind of setting uh, is required, okay? Now, one, uh, you can use this APS in areas uh, where no three phase is required, okay? And that I mean, if you're not going to run induction motors uh, or any other device that uses entire need all the three phase to be available for it to work, Okay, so that means you can use this kind of setting in schools, those uh, then your hospitals, malls. Okay, just take an example, by the way. Let me take an example like uh, a mall. Okay, you know, uh, a mall would essentially have a transformer, uh, you know, uh, supplying the entire premises. Uh, now, the loads uh, or the shops or the, the spaces in that mall will be, uh, you know, balanced on the three phase. Okay, you find some blocks are connected to, to red, the other block blue, the other block yellow. Okay, now if there is any problem in the yellow phase, it means that the people who are connected to that phase, they'll be affected. And the others on the other two phases, which are healthy, are not affected. So that isn't good. Okay. So, but when you're using an APS, it means that if the red phase has got a problem or it's not healthy, uh, it's, it's maybe it's under voltage or low voltage, or it's simply off, then the system will choose the next available phase. If it was red with a the problem, then the blue phase will come in and it will supply the entire place. Okay, so it will be one phase at a time. All right. Now, let us see how this thing works. Okay, now we have uh, three contactors here, as you see, and then we have the power breaker right here, and then we have the control circuit and the load breaker right here. Now, each contactor you're seeing here, it has a phase, each contactor a phase, each contactor a phase, and that is red, yellow, blue, or one, two, three, okay? And then we have the neutro also taking its own uh, path. Now, let us look at the control circuit. So, because we have three contactors, we have three comparators, three timers, and three relays. Okay? Our control circuit is AC. The entire system is AC. Now, briefly, let me tell you something. Let me explain something here. Now, the comparator here, uh, if this comparator, uh, because it monitors, constantly monitors voltage at all times, Okay, so if the voltage is okay, then it will, you know, uh, activate uh, this relay. Okay, and then the relay will activate the timer. Now the timer will activate the contactor. And the reason we do that is uh, because we want everything here to happen seemingly and as fast as can. Okay, because power is constantly needed in the supply. Okay, right? so. What you have to put in mind that this circuit is pretty much uh, protected. The contactors have been interlocked electrically. 
there's no mechanical interlock that's why we've interlocked twice so you realize that each contactor goes through the other two contactors for example this red contactor it has passed through yellow and blue okay equally so in this timer in, in these relays here we've interlocked okay to make sure that there is a protection there is no time that uh, these phases will meet because you've seen we've you know linked them here all right so that's why we interlock and if one interlock fails the other interlock can still save uh, the day because we have to, uh, like i said the interlock goes through uh, two contactors and also the uh, two relays okay so that's much pretty uh, good protection all right all right now let me energize the thing and we see how it works so that's the red phase right there and it has engaged so if you look here this is 241 the right now the load is being supplied by the red phase okay now look so uh yellow and blue are not present simply because i've switched off these switches okay now if i switch on the switches the comparator will see uh, that power signal and you see power is available but look it's the red contact has energized all right so and if you look at the timer here it's only one timer that is supplying so we have only one contactor engaged let me show something what if this red supply has got a problem the red supply now let's switch off the red supply see so you see, I've switched off the red supply and the blue has come in instantly, okay? Remember, right now we have two phases on, which is uh, blue and yellow. Initially it was red, red went off, and then blue and yellow uh, were on, but the system picked blue. And so the, the load is being supplied by blue, okay? Now, what if blue also got a problem? blue what if blue also got a problem now if i switch off blue let's see what happens you see yellow comes in now right now we are having yellow supplying the load now if the other two phases come back maybe red will come back first you see the comparator shows you right here that it's there and then blue also you see uh shows you that it's also on okay so basically all of the three phases are available but we are using a uh, yellow okay now in some for some reason yellow has a problem so we switch off yellow you see blue has come in so that's how an aps work but i want to show you something maybe you're saying that mm, what if all of them come on at the same time what happens is let's find out okay i've switched off everything and i want you to look at your screen so i'm going to switch on these breakers at once look at the comparators you see so comparators on but we got one contactor without any disturbance here without any noise we've you know managed to energize the red phase okay now remember all of them are on right now you see all of the phases are on but we are being supplied with the red phase so mm, let us switch off this red phase okay we see which one will come in the blue phase is coming okay and uh, if i switch on the blue yellow will come in okay now the yellow phase is supplying us okay all right now i want to switch off the yellow phase right now which is on currently and we want to see what among uh, blue and red which one will come in so i'll switch off so the red uh, phase has come in see that all right so basically you get the idea of how the aps uh work now um the only drawback right now 
uh, in this setting is that if all the, th the three phases are not available, then the entire place will be quiet. So there will be no lights. Okay. So in the next video, I will show you how to incorporate a generator in this APS. Okay. Whereby, uh, if all these contactors de-energizes, like there is no uh, grid completely, then definitely the generator will come in. So you see that's a game changer. Now that would be the best more than this APS itself. And then what we did earlier, the automatic change of a switch of two contactors. Okay. So that would be the best. But I hope you have learned something uh, right here. By the way, if you're new here, my name is David. Uh, feel free to subscribe, to like, and share. Yes, and also you can share with the, your colleagues if you think that this kind of information uh, wow them. There is uh, uh, one more thing, one more setting you can familiar yourself with. Now, with this kind of setting, if your power is not quite stable, if it's pretty bad, then you have to play around with the, the timer settings such that you can delay that phase further. Okay. So once again, thank you very much. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, to like, and share. Until next time, I'm out.